Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Okay you guys, so this week I wanted to show you all my updated process to blowing out my hair. It has been a while, but as I stated in my previous video, your girl is coming up. So I recently got a brand new blow dryer with attachment. So really quickly before we get started with the actual blowout process, I wanted to do a quick, and I mean super quick, product review of my new blow dryer. All right y'all, so here is my brand new blow dryer and it is a 3200 Turbo Pro Red Pro blow dryer all right and I got this beautiful thing as a gift but it was purchased on Amazon so if you're interested in this once I get done I will try my hardest to find a link and put it in my description box so really quickly just some quick things about this blow dryer is that it came with three different attachments so this attachment right here which is the standard detangling attachment okay and then you have this one just for your regular blowout and then I have a standard attachment to just blow dry your hair I do not know where that piece is currently because I never use a blow dryer to actually blow dry my hair I prefer to air dry um some other really cool things about this blow dryer that I really love is that it has this amazing cooling button right here if it gets too hot and then not only that but it has three settings okay so it has cool warm and hot typically I use warm or hot I typically use hot just because it goes a lot quicker there's one more and you have the strength of the fan so typically I use the highest fan as well one thing that I absolutely adore about this blow dryer is the fact that I can blow out my hair in less than two hours okay that is ridiculous because in the past it's taken me at least four to blow out all of my hair and as you all know my hair is just growing and so the fact that I can do all of it within an hour and a half is pretty impressive um the only downfall to this blow dryer is that the cord is like pretty short and then the other thing is the handle trying to blow out my hair I can't like hold it like this typically I have to grip it from up top to actually do it and that can be a struggle depending on how my hair is parted and all of that and the other part is typically when I'm holding it from up here it gets pretty hot really quick so I typically have to get a towel or something to wrap around it but other than that I absolutely adore okay this blow dryer and y'all are about to see exactly why okay <laughs> so really quickly I want to go over the products that you're gonna need to blow your hair out so, so as you all can see there's some white residue that's still left in my hair that is my leave-in conditioner so my hair is freshly co-washed and I went ahead and put some oil and leave-in conditioner in my hair to make sure that my hair is very hydrated all right so other than that you guys are just gonna need about three more things so I have my white tooth comb and that's strictly for parting and combing if necessary and so I have my bobby pins just to make sure that my hair is sectioned off at all times and I'm working on the pieces of hair that I want to all right and so last but definitely not least probably the most important part of the products needed is my heat protectant okay so this is cream of nature with argan oil um seven in one leave-in treatment so this will be my second time using this heat protectant and I really liked it so I guess I'll continue to use it and I'm sure it'll last me for a while because it's pretty good size and you guys know I don't really blow my hair out so that is a plus all right so my last bit of information about this is that it can be purchased at Walmart but that's it as far as products so y'all it is time to get started so what I'm gonna do first is just pick a section of hair to work with so I'm gonna do my back sections first typically because they're the hardest and so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate that hair and my hair is also freshly detangled y'all my detangling brush works magic look at this all right, y'all, so here we go. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and section off a piece of hair. And so I'm gonna use about this much hair. And then I'm just gonna apply some of my heat protectant. So about this much. And then I'm just gonna stroke my hair. Now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So here we go. All right, my love, so this bottom section of my hair is now complete. Look at this hang time, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right here for this section because eventually I'm gonna keep combing back through it as I complete this section of my hair. And so we're just gonna repeat those exact same steps, all right? And so I'll come back to you all when this back section is fully done. I 
All right, y'all, so I'm back for a quick recap, and we now have one finished section. I'm yeah. trying to tell y'all, this blow dryer is the truth. Look at this. Y'all know how kinky my hair is? So I just wanted to stop in really quickly, show you guys my progress, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and move to this back section on the other side of my head. All right, my love, so we are halfway there. And I just wanna let y'all know that I am making amazing time. It's literally just been about an hour. So what I'm gonna do next is just go ahead and section off this back piece of my hair and just put it in a little ponytail so that I can go ahead and get started as well as finish this front section, all right? All right, my love, so here is our last check-in point, y'all. We are almost there, all right? So I only have this front section of my hair. So the next time that you guys see me, we're gonna be completely done. So I'll see you guys in a second. And voila, my love, so my hair is completely blown out, y'all. And I absolutely love it, like I have no complaints. Y'all, this blow dryer is everything, <laughs> okay? And I'm really proud of my hair and where it is. Like, it's still really thick, it looks really healthy, and so I can definitely tell that there is a lot of The growth. only thing that I'm finding a lot of issue with is the fact that my hair is already shrinking up. Like, throughout the whole process, my hair has shrunk up. And I don't know what it is, because the last time I blew out my hair, I used the same product, and it shrunk way more than what it looks like right now. So I guess maybe, Comparatively speaking, from last time to this time, I used more of my heat protectant. I'm assuming that's what it was because that's the only difference in what I did last time compared to this time is how much I used of that. But yes, y'all, my hair is so soft, okay? I'm starting to sweat because it's hot in here, but it's pretty straight, like, seriously. This is a really good blowout, one of the best ones I've ever done on myself. So I am super excited. So and yes, y'all, this is my latest blowout tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, any questions at all, you all know the drill. Make sure you drop those below in the comment section and I will get to you guys as soon as I can. As always, do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys really soon bye